Oh my God, that was nice to meet you here. Yeah, thanks. In Switzerland. Yeah, it's always great to meet you. Yeah, thank you for supporting Bankex uh, from the beginning and uh, being our strategic advisor both and early token sale participants. So the first time I remember we met in money 2020 in ah, Copenhagen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, about eight months ago, ten months ago now. Yeah, it so. was back, back in June, I think, end of June. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Bankex I think is really, um, well, it's, it's similar to my own vision of kind of creating a more efficient society. Mm -hmm. So uh, doing everything, you know, paper-based, tracking assets that way is, is really inefficient and insecure. And so I think your platform has a lot of potential to help real businesses. And so uh, I really see enterprise, uh, yeah, enterprise support being kind of the main uh, strategic uh, way for BankX to build systems. And what's the progress you saw from uh, those situation when it used to be like back in June? last year to right now so with, with the team bankers, yeah, with the team with our yeah so the team has definitely grown a lot uh, i think the quality of the people is really amazing and also i was really impressed by um i was in russia last last summer in kazan for uh, a hackathon and conference about blockchain that uh, vitalik was at and i was really impressed that the bankx team won the hackathon and uh, Vitalik gave them, you know, the prize. And, yeah, yeah. Um, I, was, I was able to see that in person, which was quite a lot of fun. And um, it's like, oh, I know these people. It's great. <laughs> Are you aware of uh, the the recent things that we start to work? It's movie coin. It's uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood. We're doing a platform for tokenization of real world cash flow and assets. So the goal is to help uh, uh, raise funds to produce films. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's uh, to to help independent producers and also to move oh, yeah. by existing process of fundraising for studios to blockchain. That's really great. I I kind of get the feeling that because of the high cost to create a lot of movies, that uh, you know there's this built-in censorship into the whole movie industry where if you don't uh, kind of you know, build movies along the party line, uh, like no one will give you money. And so if you can decentralize uh, the funding of these movies, that's something that can really help. Yeah, this exactly. It's, uh, the problem is that many people outside of Hollywood, especially in Asia and Middle East, they want to invest in the movies, but they don't have access and they don't have clear process. So it's very intransparent and shady. There are many agents, the media is there. And this is what we want to make the more transparent and so when they directly buying their coins that is backed by future cash flows in the movies and participate with that. Yeah, it actually sounds a lot of fun. Everyone can kind of become a movie producer in a way. Yeah, it's the most talented probably <laughs> <laughs> they can. Do you, do you plan to expand to other things like music or? Yeah, we, we consider a music coin as well. And uh, we're also working on more uh, hard industry. It's uh, production of platinum and palladium, so we're going to oh, make green metals and hopefully for Japanese, uh, our Japanese client that we're going to find through Seremitsu. This yeah. would be interesting. Yeah, Japan has a lot of uh, needs, I think, because Japan has lots of assets, uh, like, like just traditional assets. Like Japan, agriculture is one huge example of that. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, everything is done by hand. Uh, there's very inefficient processes. Um, and uh, because, you know, human error, built up over many decades, uh, some people don't even know what they have. So mm -hmm. being able to kind of build this uh, trusted record. So I, I just had a panel and uh, one of the, the points that I made, and I think it's important, is that the real innovation of blockchain was the, uh, the creation of third party accounting. And so you can, if, if we do a transaction together, uh, it, the system itself can, everyone can see it and kind of verify that this is correct. So. Uh, if we have a disagreement, we can always go to someone over here and say, you know, did this transaction take place? And they can look at the shared ledger and say, yes, it took place. Here's the proof of it. Um, and uh, that, that can really revolutionize uh, a lot of business processes. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, um, I've, I'm a huge fan of Nick Sable, So I've uh, read many of his, yeah, like, like basically well. all of his work. And, um, you know, he studies a lot about how the industrial revolution took place. Uh, how did, um, you know, things like clocks, for instance, uh, you know, democratize, uh, you know, uh, industry. So you had a shared concept of, you know, we have this, this concept of time and time together gives us a shared space in which we can understand and do business. And um, if we can do that with other types of assets, that's, that's really valuable. So it's- Yeah, uh, as far as I know, Nick Sabo, I saw him in Shanghai last oh, year. Oh, great. And uh, he's working on the 
uh, bank as a service uh, pro uh, uh, process as well. So he's taking an amazing part of uh, banking. Really? So we consider, yeah, we consider in some moment maybe collaborate with him. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely one of the thought leaders. Um, his ideas remind me a lot of Lewis Mumford, who is an American uh, philosopher. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1934, you know, he wrote a book called uh, Techniques and Civilization, where he talks about monotechnic and polytechnic. And monotechnic is kind of, you know, he studied the Industrial Revolution and saw that um, a lot of uh, industry and technology was being built for technology's sake. It wasn't being built for the sake of uh, human civilization or humanity. And, uh, you know, that led to huge uh, crises like World War One. So he wrote, wrote this book in 1934 from that perspective. And um, uh, he really argued that we should have polytechnic, that many different um, uh, aspects of human society should be optimized in the technology, that mm -hmm. you shouldn't just try to build technology for technology's sake, mm -hmm. but be able to help human society itself. And, uh, yeah. and uh, when building blockchain systems, it's really important to remember that. And um, I, I kind of feel that in, in some... Some no platforms. Way, well, yeah. well, I won't. I won't na name the names, but some platforms, like you know, big public blockchains, um, they've kind of gotten away from that. That, for example, mining is hugely resource intensive, but maybe it's not even needed if we have a different consensus yeah, algorithm. So, yeah, yeah. so it's, are we building these systems for ourselves or for the machines? You know, so it's really important to build uh, systems that that meet human needs in human society. I agree. I agree. We are working right now also the exchange for the causes. So for the token that is backed by something that is, should be delivered for the end participants, for instance, drinkable water. Oh, so okay. one bottle of drinkable water. So and we are skipping uh, all the intermediates. So we want the people the, who care about society the, to donate directly and buy these coins that is backed by this water and donate directly to their to their causes. So they, they, they block, through blockchain they can track how the water was consumed through all the country in different uh, vending machines. Wow, well, that's very interesting because... Yeah. Um, well, we're looking for IoT right now, by the way, maybe in Japan there is some vending machines or somebody who can play. Pull, I wonder if that could help with disaster relief. I remember after the 2011 quake in Japan, um, you know, many people donated things, um, mm -hmm. you know, to help with the disaster recovery. Um, but, you know, people donated sometimes too many things that were not needed and it actually got in the way and caused uh, a lot of trouble. And so, it's important to kind of understand the situation. You know, what 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 do people have? What are what are people lacking? And um, uh, I think that you know, tracking real life physical goods on the blockchain is a good step in, in the direction towards that. Um, it, it doesn't have to be blockchain, of course, but um, having it a uh, blockchain can make it uh, easier for many different organizations to collaborate together. <laughs> in a disaster, there's not just one organization. There's many people kind of sometimes without talking to each other working in, in an area. So uh, it's really important to, mm -hmm. um, to, to build this kind of shared ledger that everyone can work with. Um, I went three times up to volunteer up in, in uh, the north after the earthquake. And mm -hmm. uh, it was, um, uh, well, the pro pace of progress was really fast, which, is, um, uh, <laughs> which was quite amazing. But um, yeah, when you first go there, there's no electricity. Um, a lot of places don't have running water. It's really <coughs> uh, hard situations. So being able to have a really robust system um, uh, that can connect to the internet would help a lot. There was still cell access because the military set up you know, cell towers and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we would be uh, we'd be happy to provide solution for um, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is situation. what is a human need? The only uh, thing certain in this world really is chaos, and um, uh, we're always gonna you know if you'll <coughs> every country has lots of disasters every year, so uh, being able to help out with that would be. Um, it's, it's not only the right thing, but uh, it, it can, you know, help all of society. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. And yeah, thanks. Yeah, and see you, see you soon, hopefully, in Japan, when yeah. we will be visiting. Yeah, great. I, I look forward to seeing you in Tokyo. So yeah. thanks a lot for, uh, for your time. And um, uh, looking forward to BankX and uh, what you are doing we'll this year. Okay. So um, you've got a great team. So I really commend you uh, on being able to attract, um, you know, I think it's really your personality that is able to Thank attract you. these Let's great people. Thank you. Let's collaborate in Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <Thanks>. you. <laughs> yeah, bye.